Hi, Jim Duncan with Nest Realty, RealCentralVA.com, and actually Real Crozet VA, and I live right here in Parkside. Um, thanks for clicking through. The Parkside Village market was hit pretty hard in 2011. Uh, right now, while there aren't any houses in the market, I expect that there probably will be soon. Uh, it's one of the reasons for this video. If, you, if you're interested, please give me a call or an email. Uh, but quickly, I wanted to, to say, make sure you look at your property assessments. Um, you know, I'm, I think mine's down 18%. Uh, which, frankly, I'm not really concerned about uh, because I know that they are mostly irrelevant with respect to market value. Uh, but buyers do look at those as a measure of market value. Uh, I think that they're not true or accurate, uh, but it's something that buyers are very aware of, and so you, know, you need to be as well. Uh, but quickly, let's look at last year. Uh, one on Sunflower Lane sold. Uh, starting price was uh, 278 it was on the market for about 230 days, and it finally sold for 229,000. Uh, quite the reduction. Uh, one, the one on Indigo, right at the top, sold. Um, starting price was uh, 379 at the beginning, and eventually it sold as a short sale for uh, 315. Uh, the one on Cranberry sold pr pretty quickly. You know, it sold in about three months. Starting was uh, 379, dropped to 329, uh, and sold for 320. Uh, Again, you know, we, our market, uh, for the buyers, it's fantastic because I think it's, we live in a great neighborhood. Uh, for potential sellers, uh, not so great. Uh, one of the two-bedroom townhomes sold after nearly a year on the market, and it sold for $147. Starting price was $165. Uh, there was one that was on the market and came off uh, last year, uh, and a couple more have been you know, floating on and off the market. Um, townhomes have been hit pretty hard because of uh, the competition that we're seeing uh, both in Old Trail, but also because the market for two-bedroom two townhomes is just not as great as it used to be uh, for, for a variety of reasons. If you're interested, I'll be happy to expand on that later. Um, and last, the one on Hilltop, which is right near the end of the cul-de-sac, uh, is under contract. It is a short sale. It's been on the market for a tremendous amount of time. Uh, the final asking price, I don't know the contract price, but the final asking price was $249. Uh, it's down from an original price of at least uh, $310. Uh, again, it's, so the, the buyer for that, I think, is getting a pretty remarkable uh, property. Um, so the, in, in short, guys, I mean, I track the Parkside Village market uh, every day. I mean, I live here, but I track the, the Parkside Village, the Crozet, Charlottesville markets uh, on a daily basis. I write about it, look for trends uh, on realcentralva.com. Uh, and one of the points of this video is also to say that when you're looking to if you're thinking about making a decision to, to put your house in the market, understand that it, it really is a lot of work. Um, my seller clients with whom I work, uh, they put in a lot of time and effort uh, with my guidance and, and, and my, uh, my advice to get their homes ready, to get themselves ready uh, mentally and financially to get their house in the market and, and try to get it sold as quickly as possible. Um, right now, we really are seeing across the, the breadth of our market we're seeing a tremendous amount of buyer activity. Uh, I think that there are a lot of buyers who have been waiting for a long time, and they're finally making the decision to buy. Uh, but what they're doing is they're bu they are making offers on properties. In a lot of cases, multiple offers right now. Uh, it's based on price. Uh, but a lot of times, they're making offers quickly. So it means that if you're going to put your house on the market, you know, we need to, we, you know, ideally, we'd work together uh, and put it on the market for the best price from day one. And you know, if you price it right, there's a very strong uh, chance to, to get it under contract quickly. But pricing it right can be challenging. Uh, it can be challenging to understand where the market is, but also challenging because a lot of people you know, right now are underwater. Um, and my role to, is to help people in any way that I possibly can. Uh, if you have any questions uh, about the Parkside Village market or Crozet or Charlotte or Albemarle, uh, please give me a call or an email. My cell phone is 434-242. 7140, and I write at realcentralva.com and the Crozet site, uh, realcrozetva. Thanks, guys.